In this video, I will be talking about what's inside my babysitting bag for ages one to three. Stay tuned. Hey sitters, welcome back. It's Lydia, thanks for joining me. If this is your first time here, welcome. I hope you stick around by hitting that subscribe button. Um, especially if you're looking to become a better babysitter. So if you haven't already seen my first babysitting bag video, I'll put a link in the description below. That video was geared towards more school-aged um, children, so this one will be geared towards ages one to three. So let's get started on what I have all in here. So I wanted to let you guys know first before I pull anything out of here that after this comes home with me from a family and the other babysitting bag, but especially this one because they're so young and they like to put things in their mouth that I clean this every time it comes home with me after it's been at a family's um, house or played by with the kids. First thing in my babysitting bag for the younger kids is this little Baby Einstein's uh, book holder. I like to call it my li little library on the go. Um, and inside are a bunch of books that talk about different topics. So for example, this one talks about the four seasons. This one's talking about fruits and vegetables. Um, this is talking about um, things that are on the go. So it's airplanes, cars, buses, boats. And there's pictures in there so they can look at them while you read. Um, and again, these probably will end up in the mouths of these kids. So they are cardboard, which I can wipe down with some soap, soap and water. So I like that they're um, able to be cleaned and they're small enough to fit in my babysitting bag. Next thing in my babysitting bag are these stackable cups. So um, there's only five of them, but they have a number five on them, they have five dots on them, they have a little animal, and then they also have a sensory, like um, if you could hear that, these are all bumps. And then on the number four, they have stripes, so that they also get a feeling of, um, a sensory feeling, which they also like to, to play with. So I have all the way down to the number one, and they also stack on top of each other. I'll try and stack them. They stack up pretty nice and they like to push it over and play with them. Um, but they also, they also put away very nicely as well because they just sit inside each other. So they're very nice. Again, they're plastic, so um, you can wipe them down very easily or you can also throw these in the dishwasher as well. The next thing in my babysitting bag are these um, ABC elephants. They're very cute. I found them at Sam's Club, um, but you don't have to spend a lot of money on this babysitting bag. You can go to consignment shops and find um, a lot of fun little toys. Actually, the rest of my babysitting bag was found at a consignment shop. The stacking blocks that I showed you earlier were found at a consignment shop. So um, don't spend too much money on it because you can find stuff um, elsewhere and for cheaper prices. Um, but these elephants are really cute. My kids love them. They link up, which is really good for the younger one's motor skills. And then also for those who are learning colors, um, my kids right now are learning colors and they're doing really well, but these elephants can also be link linked up by color. Um, and then on top of that, if I bring it to an older kid's house, say um, four, five, six year olds. They can link up and make them small, um, make some smaller words, um, dog, cat, go. They can work on their sight words as well if you have a list from school of what kind of sight words they're working on. Um, so I found these to be really cool. So my next item in my bag is this shape puzzle. Uh, it helps the kids with their motor skills. Um, and believe it or not, even though this has like pentagon, diamonds, octagons, um, oval, those aren't shapes that younger kids really see. But since they have so many sides, it's really easy for them to kind of put it in. The triangle is their, the hardest one because they don't realize that they have to twist it. 
But with this, we work on our colors, we work with the shapes. I'll even take this with my, um, me to the older kids because once they start recognizing the uh, name of shapes or starting to learn the names of shapes, underneath them has the name of the shape. So uh, I'll cover up these names that are on the board that tells you, and then I'll ask them what shape this is. And then if they, they can guess it and pull it and then see if they're right or wrong. Um, and I really like this one again, it's uh, wood so I can wipe it all down and use it over and over again. The next item in my bag are these magnets. Um, these were from the consignment shop. So I don't think that they're all there. I lose them anyways under fridges and stuff, under um, the dishwasher. But uh, these are foam, so I can wipe them down, put them in some soapy water and clean them. But these get the attention of the younger kids who can pull them off the fridge and put them back on the fridge. The older ones can start, um, uh, not the older ones, but like two, three year olds can start pointing out letters to me. Not that they're making words, but I can ask them, where's the T, where's the P? Um, and they can start pointing to them. We'll also go through numbers and see what they can tell me or see what they know and what they don't know. I have some cars that these are big enough they can't choke on them but small enough that they can hold them in their hands and not have a problem with them and then i have some bigger ones that they um can play with on the ground um i have a wooden one in here uh that they like to play with and as well as this car that flips when it rides the color flips and they find that very interesting. Um, and once again, all of these can be wiped down, thrown in the dishwasher, in some soapy water, um, but they can be cleaned because I know all of my stuff will go into mouths at one point or another. So I make sure that they clean a lot. I have this Water Wow coloring book. Um, so this is a no mess pen, which means that it is all, it's just filled with water and if it goes any on anything it's just water and it will dry so if, like they won't be drawing on the table there there won't be marker marks everywhere um, and then it comes with this coloring pad um, so there's a bunch of different pages um, they're pretty cute um, so for the younger ones they just color on it they there's an option to find these animals so if i do bring it to um an older older child's house they will be looking for this stuff but for my younger ones they just they just like the fact that it turns colors when they color on it so like i said it's mess free it's just water so if it gets anywhere else you can wipe it up or it dries and um they like finding that the color changes or that there's little animals that appear or disappear. And then once you're done coloring on here, this dries so that you could color on it again and again and again. So it's reusable. Again, I found most of this stuff at the consignment shop so you don't have to spend a lot of money on things to put inside your babysitting bag. Um, I try and make it kind of educational, not that um, all of it's educational some of it i do like to be fun the cars or the building blocks um, but i do like for things to be a little more educational while we play as well if you guys have any questions please leave, let me know in the comment section down below um, if you're new again hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any great tips for becoming a better babysitter and i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching